As teachers, we recognize the value of a strong home-school connection. It's key to student success. After all, when parents and teachers work together, there really can be no confusion about assignments, expectations, class behavior, and routines. However, for many teachers, the notion of working with parents is a complicated one, if not potentially contentious. In this age of social media, it's easy to become mired in back and forth messages, given the numerous apps that are out there, as well as email accessibility. And as teachers, we want to remember that we have to maintain a friendly but professional distance because these parents are not our friends. To that end, this video suggests four tips to help make parent involvement a bit more painless and a bit easier on your part. In fact, if you haven't yet set up an LMS, a learning management system, I strongly recommend that you do. There's Google Classroom out there, there's Edmodo, Edsby, so many different platforms, although it might be a wise decision to check in with your administrator to see which one she prefers or which one your board is mandating or suggesting. Setting up an LMS is really a pain-free way of ensuring that your students and their parents are getting online and are able to read reminders and postings made by you. Once that's set up, I suggest that you prepare a class list and then upload that so parents can go online and insert their email address and an alternate phone number. Now doing this achieves two things. Number one, it guarantees that your parents are on your learning management system so there can be no confusion later on about I didn't get on, you didn't give me the information, where's the code, etc. Number two, it also gives you two ways of contacting the parent and that way you're going to get to them one way or the other. I also recommend you put a little disclaimer on the document saying that if they contact you, you may not be able to get back to them within 24 hours. So to give you 24 to 48 hours is actually ideal. A lot of parents feel that we're just babysitters anyway, so what better way to show a day in the life of your classroom than to have parents come in and contribute to it. So, so many curricular connections can be made to this. You can connect to social studies, a religion, science. Parents can be invited to come in and share information about their heritage great connection to social studies. They can talk about their profession. They can talk about an alternate way to solving a math problem. Giving them this chance to take a peek into your classroom while also giving your students a chance to meet parents of their friends is a powerful way to forge strong connections. Now, again, this will take some time, but really the more you practice, the smoother and faster you become. And yes, I'm not um, saying get rid of the agendas. My students write in their agendas every day. However, sometimes there's broken telephone with certain students who will put down math page, but they don't write down the page number. Or they will write down the page number, but it's the wrong page number. And invariably, I get emails from parents after hours saying, can you please tell me what Dean forgot? And I won't respond because it's after school hours, and that's a part of student responsibility. Also, I will want to remind them the next day that I posted my little summary on Google Classrooms. So it's basically a quick synopsis of what the homework is. So in case parents don't understand what their child has written, so we're not taking responsibility away from the child. However, in case that's not there, they can sit there and check my posting and there should be no further confusion. It makes students um, continue with their sense of ownership and pride in their own agenda, but it's also kind of like a fail-safe backup. It's really a great way for students to explain to their parents what went on during the course of a day. So whether it's an exciting new math problem that's solved or a new manipulatives being used or a scientist visit to your classroom, take a few photos and post them on your LMS. Again, a warning, you may want to check with your school's security and privacy policies, but usually parents are asked to sign off at the beginning of the year um, whether or not they want their child's image being used. And if they sign off on that, then there's no harm in sharing photos in a safe environment. In fact, you can even prepare a Google slide deck and insert a couple of photos for people to share and view. It's powerful storytelling at the end of the day where the child can show the photos and explain to their parents what went on. So it's good vocabulary development, it's good review, and again makes the parents feel as if they are in the loop. So with these four tips in mind, I encourage you to consider inviting parents into your room. That way they can maintain a safe distance, still feel involved, uh, be connected, and ensure that their child is being responsible. Thanks.